Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at the Pareto distribution and in particular the mean excess loss. So losses follow a Pareto type 2 distribution with shape parameter alpha greater than 1 and scale parameter theta. The value of the mean excess loss function at x equal 8 is 32 and x equal to 16 is 48. Determine the value of the mean excess loss function at x equal to 32. Okay. Now, there's a bit of an actuarial uh, science involved in this, and I'm not going to go into it in too much detail. Suffice to say that this is a key definition that you will need for your studies, and it's worth lo lo learning how to derive the following two expressions here. Now, I'm going to sort of just take them as given here, okay? But in another video, we'll actually derive them from first principles when I get the chance to it. Okay, so um, the we're dealing specifically here with a type two distribution, so we're going to look at this one in particular here. Okay, so the mean excess loss for a Pareto type two distribution is d plus theta divided by lambda alpha minus one. Okay, alpha minus one. Okay, so this uh, I'm going to sort of skip all that. Okay. And what we're going to do here is try and figure out what D and, or sorry, alpha and theta are, okay? So, first off, I'm going to try solve for theta, okay? Now, for, I have two values of the expected value of the loss, uh, the mean excess loss, for two corresponding values of D, okay? So, I have 32 and 48, which corresponds to 8 and 16, respectively, okay? So I have two expressions here, okay? So what I'm going to do is divide one expression by the other. So I'm going to divide this one by this one. So I have 48 divided by 32, that's equal to 1.5. And that is equal to 16 plus theta divided by alpha minus 1 divided by t, uh, 8 plus theta divided by alpha minus 1, which is 16 plus theta divided by 8 plus theta. Okay. So 1.5, so I'm just going to cross multiply. That's equal to 1.5. Okay. Uh, 1.5 times 8 plus theta is equal to 16 plus theta. Just work it out there. You can sort of see the steps. 12 plus 1.5 theta equals 16 plus theta. Uh, 1.5 theta equals 4 plus theta, that means one, uh, 0 0.5 times theta equals 4, and theta must equal 8, okay? Uh, solving for alpha, okay, just sub in the value of theta, and then solve, okay? So, using one of them here, we replace theta with 8. So, 8 plus 8 divided by alpha minus 1 should give us 32, Okay, 8 plus 8 is 16, Div uh, so 32 is equal to 16 divided by alpha minus 1, so that means alpha minus 1 is 0 0.5, and that means alpha is equal to 1.5. You can just check it there with the other ones, okay, 16 plus theta, this is what should equal to 48, this is the second one we're given, uh, divided by alpha minus 1, 16 plus 8, divided by 1.5 minus 1, 24, divided by 0 0.5, 48. Okay, so that checks out. So what we're asked to do is find the mean excess loss when the deductible is 32. 32 plus theta divided by alpha minus 1 is 32 plus 8 divided by 0 0.5. So it's 40 divided by 0 0.5, and that gives us 80. Okay. Now that one's quick enough, okay, this question, and a very similar to the method of moments, okay? So, you know, that that sort of is the key thing here, that what you should have looked, seen in other questions, uh, trying to, uh, given the mean and the variance, trying to figure out the parameters, you know, this question is a close cousin of that, given mean excess loss functions, trying to figure out what the parameters are and use them to find out another value, okay? Right, we'll leave it there. Uh, and again, this is very important. I'll just sort of finish on that. That stuff is very important with the Pareto type two distribution. So 
make before you sit your exam be very very solid on that stuff okay i'm going to sort of skip past it here because i want to keep this presentation short but there you go okay <laughs>